so what happened with the HK situation? Is there anything you could talk about? I mean, I'm talking about it all. You feel me? Uh, they, it, I think it came out later that it was another man. Like, I think that they were, uh, this story's still kind of flimsy. And who knows if the police actually got the truth behind any stories. Because they just, if they wasn't there, they going to go from whoever was around. Or, like, there's no way to get the actual, you feel me, uh, the knowledge about what happened that day. But all we know is that Mac and Little D, they was with HK. And then HK ended up calling Nene and them saying, what he said was like, they got me. He ain't say he got me. It wasn't no, you know, we ain't getting no calls that was, you feel me, that led us to think. Or it wasn't no, nothing that was surfacing in the air from the people that knew HK closely that was leading us to understand or think of. And, and after Mac died, I mean, I'm not saying nothing about it. And because, you feel me, but I'm just saying, uh, like, HK people kind of posted HK, like, after they heard Mac died. So that just said a lot there, you know, but that whole situation, I'm not familiar. People say that it was about money. And I know that. We all know that. Like, they was apparently robbed the people, robbed a few people uh, before that. And HK had, the, like, the money from it, you feel me? He probably was the main one and got the money. And so they basically conspired against him, killed him, took the little bit of money. Left him there out to dry, and that's that's the story we heard for real. So, man, that's uh, that's the you feel me? That's the story we heard. I ain't heard nothing other than that. So, sad, man, sad. So he was fighting a double homicide for allegedly killing some chicks. Yeah, some. The truth gonna be the truth, man. And, and all y'all who behind the scenes who truthfully just want to let this madness run, and y'all gonna look at me. Uh, and say that I'm snitching. Well, look, you are, we are agreeing with death. All this music, all these different, like, why would we continue to agree with death? I'm speaking out because I'm tired of it. I'm speaking out because so many of us continuously dying. But yeah, they already, so you remember the time that I told you, I almost got, I, I would have gotten shot. No, like, I don't know if I would have died, who was to know? The day that Oogie got shot, the day that Platoon got killed. That day happened because some girls stayed on our block. And, you know, uh, and they, we knew them and they were the ones who set up that day. That's how those dudes ended up being on the block because they set that up. They tried. And then, mind you, after the time that first situation had happened, they tried to kill them the first time. The first time it was with Bang Man. If you ever heard about Bang Man, he is locked up right now. Trey Five and Bang Man. These were the first two that did it the first time and they got locked up. Bang, uh, Trey Five got out. He got out, and this is, I believe, he tried to go, this is who Mac went back with. He tried to re-go, uh, you know, he tried to, I guess, complete the job. They didn't kill him. So he, they completed the job, I believe. They actually did kill him this time. But Mac went with him this time instead of Bane Man. And now there's another life going down the drain. And it's just sad, but it all led from one moment that, you know, the women, they got them set up. And then it, just thinking about it is crazy because... Imagine the women like the first time that they came in and, and got shot for, for that. And probably, I don't know if they knew or didn't know why that, that, that happened to them. But then imagine living and then, you feel me, they getting locked up and then getting out and doing it again. But this time finishing the job, like, it's just so much wickedness going on in our area for real. Like, I, I, like it's a shame. It should be a shame for any fans, anybody that... That love O Block, that's glorifying Little Dirt. It should be a shame. We should be, we should feel disgraceful, like all of us, anybody who's. And I get it. It's the flesh that we deceive by, and it sounds good, but you know, it, it's death. It's it's the culture of our brothers. Like whether you black or white, God said He made man in one flesh. I'm your brother. I'm y'all brother. Like we need to be banding together, and the only way we can band together is with this word here. But you know, people rather reject the word because Satan got us blinded by what we need, what our, our, our needs of the flesh. And, and we don't understand that Jesus will make sure all that's taken care of. But that's another, you know, that's a going deep. But yeah, man, I'm just tired of it. I mean, I'm tired of it, man. We should all be tired of it. Yeah, man. Uh, I hear you, man. I hear you, man. I know you guys, you guys go through a lot, man. It seems like you know, uh, we get news about people dying. You know, I I mean, I would assume it's probably like that in other places in the country. We just don't we don't hear about it because they they're just not from a famous place like O Block and 63rd.
So so we get a lot more of the news. You know, if there's a shooting on O Block, it's news. You know, yeah, if there's a shooting on another block, it's not really news. You know, it might be like news, you know, to Channel 7 maybe if somebody dies. But yeah. it's probably not going to make the blogs, the yeah. hip-hop blogs. No, nah, for sure. I definitely, I mean, I get that for sure. But yeah, yeah. it's definitely happening everywhere right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, the signs is here. More than just death. It's, the signs is here through, through the earthquake, earthquakes, the floods. <laughs> His signs is here. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.